Hi, today we'll be unboxing the Mojave Energy Storage System model OGH ESS 8015A. The entire Mojave ESS ships in a standard skid that weighs around 688 pounds and has a height of about 51 inches. Skid contains three boxes that are strapped and shrink wrapped. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Upon delivery of the Mojave ESS, Ensure you fully inspect the skid and mark any damages on the bill of lading before accepting. If any product shows up destroyed, you may choose to refuse the shipment. Photographing evidence is recommended for future claims. Any paperwork you wish to keep, remove from the pouch and set aside. Then grab your favorite knife and cut the shrink wrap. Next. Carefully cut or untie the straps secured by metal buckles. Strap and corner guards may also be discarded. The three boxes consist of the Mojave ESS lithium battery standing upright, the Mojave inverter charger laying down, and the accessory box. Let's begin opening the accessory box. Inside you will find three accessory bags and battery exterior covers. One bag will contain battery to inverter connections, a grounding conductor, a negative to ground strap, and a CAT5E cable for BMS communications, a wire raceway with mounting screws, and drywall anchors. A bag will contain battery anchor brackets, plastic bushings, hardware with lag and hex screws with washers and rubber bumps. And finally, three battery exterior covers that get mounted after system installation to avoid cosmetic damage to the covers. Next up, the Mojave Inverter Charger. Slide the box away from the battery for easier side access. With needle nose pliers, pull and remove all metal staples from the bottom of the box. Once removed, pull the lower and upper flaps outward on both sides, then pull the lid upwards. Then cut the tape from each corner of the box. Inside, you will find the inverter charger literature, a set of current transducers or CTs, a bag of lag screws, a hardware bag containing plastic bushings, a Wi-Fi antenna, zip ties, an RJ45 plug, and a mounting bracket. Remove the protective plastic bag Cut the cardboard flap towards you, so it's not in the way. Then remove the top and bottom foam. Lift the inverter upright. Slide the unit towards the edge of the skid with the back facing outward and load it into the hand truck. and a little bit of housekeeping to get ready to unbox the Mojave ESS battery. Start by removing the three securing wooden boards. Use a screwdriver or if you're lucky, an electric drill with a Phillips bit. Next, using needle nose pliers, pull and remove the top metal staples located in the front and back and repeat for the bottom staples. Remove the top lid. Then, from each end, pull the wrapped cardboard upwards and set aside. Using a knife, cut the tape that secures the honeycomb packaging to the plastic bag and remove. 
Next, grab each end of the plastic bag and pull upwards. And of course, walk around the battery and admire. Very nice. Please note, the battery weighs 455 pounds. Ensure you are using an industrial appliance hand truck rated for this weight with kickback swivel wheels or some sort of mechanical assistance to avoid battery damage. Start by opening the lower cardboard flaps so the battery slides easier. You may cut them. Wedge the hand truck right below the deck of the skid and start sliding the battery towards the hand truck. Carefully tilt the battery backwards and rest on the hand truck. You may strap the battery to the hand truck before transport as an additional security measure. Note, the side with metal interior covers is considered to be the front of the battery and should face away from the wall when installing. Well, this concludes the unboxing of the Mojave Energy Storage System. Next step would be to mount the inverter and the battery and battery final assembly. All right, thank you for watching and see you next time.